Hello and welcome students. In this video, we are going to take a look at the first law of thermodynamics. And uh, basically, uh, the first law of thermodynamics applies to all branches of science, uh, wherein in high school, where we study about chemistry, biology, and physics. So in chemistry, we take a look at the energy of, uh, you know, when a chemical reaction happens. In biology, we'll take a look at um, biosystem, how energy, you know, is being used. And in physics, the energy is taken as potential and kinetic energy of the moving objects. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the biological aspect of energy and uh, as in relates to the first law of thermodynamics. All right, so we are going to take a look at the basic definition of uh, the first law of thermodynamics as in relation to biology that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So that is a very first and foremost law of thermodynamics that energy is not created or neither is it destroyed. So um, basically, uh, it actually means to say that it changes or it transfers from one form to another. For example, uh, we are going to use the electrical energy when you charge your cell phone, you're actually, when you're charging it, plugging it into the, you know, the system, electrical system, you are using the electrical energy and it actually converts into uh, light energy when you're able to use it as a, you know, uh, light in the dark. So that electricity is being converted to light energy at that time. Um, it transfers from one form to another. Point number three, energy may be lost. Sometimes, you know, heat energy, for example, if you're holding a hot cup of tea, then, um, let us say you are, uh, it's really hot and it's like this, you know, basically really hot cup of tea. So the heat energy is being now released into the environment and some heat energy is being lost, you know, and some of it is still in the system. Now we are going to take a look at the uses as to, in biology, what are the uses of uh, energy? Uh, what do systems or organisms use the energy for? So energy is used for the growth of the body. It is also used for um, searching for food. It is used in development, repair, reproduction, and cellular respiration. All right, on the next page, we are going to take a look at where is this energy basically coming from? So all living organisms get their energy from complex food molecules like carbohydrates proteins and fats that we studied in uh, biological micromolecules. Now on point number six, we will discuss the breakdown of complex molecules occurs in two different types, um, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. So what does that basically mean? Uh, aerobic is in the presence of oxygen. And then anaerobic is the absence of oxygen. All right, on the next page, we will take a look at uh, more ways as to how energy is being used in a biosystem. All right, so for point number seven, we are taking a look at the equation for photosynthesis where we have carbon dioxide 
and water they are combining in the presence of light energy to give carbohydrates and oxygen so this is an example for how energy is being used when photosynthesis occurs in nature now the last equation was about photosynthesis in plants we are going to now take a look at cellular respiration in organisms uh, which is happening when we have c6 h12 o6 in solid form which is your carbohydrates it's actually the opposite of photosynthesis plus oxygen which will now give us carbon dioxide for plants in the form of gas and water and a lot of energy is released and this energy is actually used to accomplish different tasks so oxygen carbon dioxide so you can see the difference that here energy is used in photosynthesis whereas energy is being released um, as a part of cellular respiration so on the next page let us take a look at um, the basic energy diagram for a biosystem all right so students on this page we are going to take a look at this picture basically this picture is showing you here that uh, the energy from the sun sun is the ultimate source of energy uh, the energy is being used in plants to carry out photosynthesis now we are using plants as you know for food or animals for food so that energy that is from, taken or stored in from sun is now being used for cellular respiration so sun is the main source of energy and all that energy is being traveling into the environment and helping to accomplish various tasks for uh, the organism so i hope it makes some sense and um, uh, i will see you in my next video where we will talk about the second law of thermodynamics thank you for watching have a good one bye